Hi everybody, myself Kaz and in this video I will be talking about Summer Research Fellowship Program 2020 and it is provided by Indian Academy of Sciences. So in this video basically I will be talking about what are the eligibility criteria who can apply. Basically this fellowship program is for both students and teachers. So what are the eligibility criteria for students, what is the eligibility criteria for teachers and what step in you will be provided and what are the basic hmm, information about this fellowship program so without wasting any time let's get started so the last first of all the last date for this program is the last date to apply for the summer research internship is 30th november 2019 so today is <clears throat> 30th of october and uh, now you will have only one month to apply for this summer research internship so if you haven't applied to the summer internship please go i'll provide the link in the description to the official page where you can just click on a link and apply to the summer program so before going to apply for the summer research internship let us see the basic information about this internship now this is the timeline uh, in this timeline i'll be talking about instructions to the applicants first one will be general instruction then eligibility cri criteria for students then teachers and the basic contents about this summer research fellowship program then what are the enclosures you will have to give during the application and other matters and at last notes first of all let us see about the general instruction application should be submitted online in the prescribed format the link is available in the websites of three academies these are the three academies where the link to the application is available i'll give the link in the description you can check it out Second one is it's mandatory to upload the marks set from class 10 to the last examination. So guys, this is the most important thing. You have to upload all the mark sets, all the mark sets you have from the class 10. Please have the scanned versions of the mark sets in the JPG format before starting to fill up the application. Third one is apply only one application per candidate. Do not apply more than one application because if you apply more than one application, none of applicants will be considered answer to the columns indicated by asterisks are mandatory you have to fill that column and now the most important thing is the last date of receipt of the applications online is 30th november 2019 now let us see about the eligibility criteria for both students and the teachers so this, this is the eligibility criteria for both students and teachers in the le next slide i will be talking about the eligibility criteria for teachers so please pause this video and see if you come under this criteria. If you don't come under this criteria, you can't apply to this research fellowship program. If you are a student in B BS, BSc, or BPharma, BTech, BArc, MSc, Pharma D, dual degree BTech, dual degree B, MSc, dual degree BSMS, and integrated PhD, then if you come under this criteria, then only you can apply for this summer research program. Now let us see about the eligibility criteria for the teachers as teachers can also apply for the summer research internship and do the summer research internship in coming 2020 summer. Teachers must be teaching in a college or university. If you are a teacher and you are teaching in a college or university, you can apply to the summer research internship. The minimum percentage of average marks in the core subject only, excluding languages, from class 10th standard to the post graduation, whichever years completed, should be 65%. And above for students the minimum percentage of average marks does not apply for teachers phd students are not eligible so mind it if you are a phd students then you are not eligible for this program applicants who have availed the academics fellowship twice before are not eligible for this program if you have availed this program twice before then you are not eligible to apply now let us see about some content you have to give during your application when you are applying to this summer research internship you have to give some write-ups and you have to give contacts of your research, uh, teachers or uh, uh, hod's then let us see about what uh, type of information they need applicants applicants should include a write-up you have to write a write-up in about 150 to 250 words as to a specific area of applicants and indicate what she or he would like to learn and achieve through this fellowship so basically you have to write a proposal uh, why you are interested in this research why you are interested in the um, specific topic and what would you like to learn and achieve through this fellowship 
it can also indicate the specific experiment or theory that the applicant wants to work on but not a general description of the area the write-up should not be copy and paste so please keep in mind please don't copy it from internet write it by yourself do not use a specific a special and scientific characters like as this has been shown do not include any special and scientific characters like this as the software will prevent you from uploading the application with such characters now let us see about the enclosures to the application both students and teachers applicants must upload a scanned version of mark c from class 10 to the last examination in jpeg format so please uh, remember you have to upload your mark sheets your scanned copies of mark sheet in jpeg format only and the size of each mark sheet should not exceed 700 kb so uh, remember the size of each mark sheet should not exceed 700 kb sorry 700 kb teacher applicants should upload their publications if you are a teacher and if you have any publication then you have to upload their publication if any if you have any then upload it if you if you have not any publication then don't mind on selection an authorization letter from the principal or hod that necessary permission or leave or absence will be granted should be sent by the post to the coordinator so if you are getting uh, selected if you are getting selected in this fellowship then an authorization letter from the principal or hod that necessary permissions for leave of absence will be granted should be sent by the post to the coordinator so to the coordinator you have to <coughs> Um, send uh, authorization letter from your principal or uh, HOD of the college about the leave <coughs> or absence. Now let us see about other matters. A student application applicants must upload the content contact details of one of their present teachers or HOD. The academy will get in touch with the teacher and obtain the recommendation letter. So for the recommendation for the recommendation letter, you have to upload. <coughs> So for the recommendation letter, you have to upload a contact detail of one of your teacher that must be a present teacher or HOD of your department. All decisions regarding the selection of the candidate will be at the sole discretion of the academies. Any grievances or dispute concerning SRFP 2020 shall be addressed to the academy whose decision thereon shall be final. If a candidate is found at any point of time to have submitted false information, his or her fellowship will be cancelled and he or she will be asked to pay back the fellowship amount, travel allowance, etc. that has been paid to him or her. Further, his or her guide and the institution in which he or she is currently studying will be informed about this matter. So don't do the, such stuffs. Be genuine. Do the right thing. Without previous to 15, Above, only the courts at Bangalore City shall be the forum for seeking judicial remedy, if any, for any dispute or grievances. This is the last note about this fellowship program. Let us see. Academy means Indian Academy of Sciences Bangalore, and academies means Indian Academy of Sciences Bangalore, Indian Academy of Sciences Academy, Indian National Science Academy, New Delhi, and National Academy of Sciences India, Priyagras. 19th. Guide means a person from the list of scientists, faculty approved by academies as guide. So uh, now this is the correspondence letter, Mr. C. S. Ravi, Coordinator, Summer Research Fellowship Program, Indian Academy of Sciences, C.B. Raman Avenue near Makri Circle. And, and this is contact details, email ID and the website. So I will give a link in the description where you can go and apply for this summer research internship. So guys, this was regarding summer research internship provided by Indian Academy of Sciences, Bangalore. If you are a BTEC student and want to do some research work in coming summer in 2020 and want to get certificate, <clears throat> then this is a very good opportunity for you. And uh, yeah, let us talk about the stipend. A stipend will be given to you 10,000 per month. And this is this may be two months summer internship, then you will be <clears throat> uh, you will get 20,000 approx. So this was regarding IAS Summer Research Fellowship. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share to, uh, it to your friends so they can also get something from it and also apply for this Summer Research Internship. If you have any problem regarding this, comment down below. I am here to help you. So thank you. Bye -bye.